leukemia is a scary word, but it needn't be. I was diagnosed 2001, and I'm still here. I'm originally from North Carolina. Currently live with my wife in the mountains of Virginia. We have one son. He's uh, about 45 minutes away, he and his wife, and uh, there are three kids. Over the years, I've had uh, quite a number of kidney stones and uh, kidney infections. I did have such an infection in uh, January 2001 and had a very astute physician in the emergency room. Uh, he ran some uh, blood work and so he came back and he said, you know, you've got a severe kidney infection, but I think something else is going on. He said, your white count is extremely high. He said, I, I think you really need an oncologist to take a look. And I did uh, a bone marrow test and uh, confirmed I had CLL. I had never heard of CLL and it had never crossed my mind that I might have leukemia. The first thing that crossed my mind, uh, what happens to my wife, you know, I had planned on not being here. That was the beginning of my CLL journey. I had to start educating myself then about what is CLL, what have I got to expect. My wife and I, you know, talked about it and I said, well, it's, you know, it's a bump in the road. I mean, we're going to deal with it. We're going to keep going. And so that's what we did. In 2019, everything went, uh, sort of went, went downhill. My platelets started back down. I started losing weight and uh, feeling really fatigued a lot. My hematologist decided it was time to uh, start a treatment. And so we started uh, on the BTK inhibitor. I was on that until August of 2021. Everything seemed to be working pretty well, and then my uh, blood pressure started rising. In fact, I ended up in the hospital. My cardiologist um, uh, thought it, it w was advisable to, to stop the, uh, the BTK inhibitor medication, and uh, he contacted the hematologist with that recommendation. She said, well, I'm going to leave it up to you what to do, and I said, well, I, I want to stop it, you know, I'm going to stop it. And I said, okay. So we stopped. And I, there was a span of about a week I didn't take anything. And uh, after that week, I, I started with, with uh, counseling. Overall, it's been, it's been, uh, been okay. My blood work is looking better. Uh, my white count is within normal range, and platelets are uh, a little low still, but closer to normal. I am quite diligent about taking uh, count quints every day at the same time, twice a day, and just in case I, I doze off or something in front of the TV, I have an alarm set on my, my uh, phone as far as uh, the energy, I, I feel pretty good most of the time. I'm like to say I have bad days, and I'm sure everybody does. But, uh, but it's, I, I keep going. Important product information. Calquince is a prescription oral treatment for adults with chronic lymphocytic leukemia or small lymphocytic lymphoma. May cause serious side effects, including serious infections, bleeding problems, decrease in blood cell count, new cancers, heart rhythm problems, and liver problems. Some may lead to death. Tell your doctor if you experience infections such as flu-like symptoms, unexpected bleeding such as blood in your stool or urine, heart rhythm problems such as fast or irregular heartbeat, or liver problems such as stomach pain, dark urine, or yellowing of your skin. Use sun protection when outside. Please see full prescribing information including patient information.